Well, good morning, UP Diliman. It's been a while. So the admin building. I'll take you around UP Diliman this morning. Let's go around the academic oval or the first, the primary ring road. It uh, would have been nicer to drive around on a Sunday, but uh, I have work to do that made me pass by the campus this morning. The beautiful Akasha line. And look at the sunken garden. It is really sinking, and uh, I've learned about that when we were still in college that it is really sinking, and the university was designed beautifully that uh, the inner area is actually sinking, including the in library and uh, the football field I think so this is the Vargas Museum or the, where a lot of art masterpieces are displayed from time to time I think this used to be the faculty center sorry for the light it's okay the driving around oh the, the road is closed I think we cannot pass by the I don't know oh, the road is closed so we won't be able to pass by the front of Palm Hall so and also the library so that you could see that it's really below the road level we'll probably take the, the side road to take the secondary ring road which is behind uh, the Palm Hall, or in our days what we used to know as the College of Arts and Sciences. So there are a lot of new buildings here at UP Diliman. So Vital Vidal A Town Hall. I don't really even know what that is up to now. So we're passing by the secondary ring road. There's a traffic inside the campus already. As kung uh, ang ng araw ay makibaka, ang sigaw ngayon ay lakihan ang parking lot. So we're behind, uh, we are behind the College of Arts and Sciences or Palma Hall. I think they divided the arts and the sciences into two different colleges nowadays. So I think this is the um, one of the dormitories I lived for a while. I think this is Sampaguita Hall and Kamiya Hall. I lived here for a summer, I think, or a few days, a few weeks, yes. one summer, 40 years ago. All right. So, on the secondary ring road. So that's Sampaguita the dormitory on the right side. And uh, okay, we'll go all back to the academic circle again. So, I think much interesting in this area. A lot of developments are in the you know, a little uh, outside the academic circle. Okay, so look at the football field and the main library. That's the main library. We're now at the academic circle. So the library is there. Look at that. I hope you, it's really, really below road level. That's the football field where a lot of, you know, activities are still being held during our time. So this is what I think Benitez Hall is at the College of Education. 
Nara Hall or the men's dormitory there the far right and then this used to be Vincent's Hall during our days and the student center and all that of course are very cold College of Business Administration so if you remember even during our days the football field is already below the road level I can't all right so the college of BA the school of economics building at the back so I, I want to stop by to take a picture of how deep the football field is and the library beautiful Akasha Line Academic Oval where on weekends and especially Sundays no road no vehicles are allowed on this only people who come from all over to to run to jog around the academic oval. Um the oh the College of Engineering okay the College of Engineering and uh, far there is the uh, College of Engineering and then there's the Mascom and then Mascom I think and then that's the Sunken Garden there's a reason why it's called Sunken Garden because it is sunken is the road going out of the campus bound for Filcoa for Commonwealth Latin but bound to the circle Quezon City Circle where the MRT7 is uh, going to pass through underground the MRT7 project goes from Santa Maria Bulacan to connecting the other MRTs and it will pass by the Kesu Memorial Circle underground. Let's hope it will not hit the grave of Kesu. Okay, we're now going to the secondary ring road. So this is where the public administration college of a school for public okay, school for urban and regional development. by the School of Kinetics. <coughs> I think that's the B. Okay. All right. On the second level, we know. a lot of good 
instructions inside the campus. And this is the women uh, school, women gender. And it's all about women, women's rights and everything. Okay, so we're now. That's the back of the College of Engineering. And, um, oh, I think I'm even lost. Oh, I took the wrong turn. I took the wrong turn. This is the one going out of Commonwealth Avenue. I'm sorry for that. Okay, that's the oval. The track and field oval. But there's a new development here. I don't know what it is, but uh, I took the wrong turn because I shouldn't be living yet. I shouldn't be going. Oh, it's two that. Oh, really? Okay. UP students are athletes parking only. Probably that's okay. the benefit afforded to the UAAP basketball guys. Oh my God. I don't know what this is. So this seems to be a grandstand. Okay. Uh, your development it seems to be a grandstand. So sorry, I took the wrong turn. This gate goes out to Commonwealth Avenue. So you could see the MRT7 development there. Okay. That's a wrong turn. I myself get lost inside of this mistake, but no, it was this wrong turn. This used to be the duck pin bowling. Not sure. Yeah, seems to be the duck pin bowling. Oh, yeah. Took that as me. Got that dress. Okay. So we're now here. This is the back of the UP Film Center and the College of Music and then this is the it used to be the uh, yeah the Bahay Balay Bahay ng Alumni is the one on the left okay Bahay ng Alumni now I don't know if the restaurant there is still probably it is closed already there's a good oh I forgot the name at the restaurant and because during the pandemic business is lost you know okay ah the film center is here ito lang pala yung film center I don't know what the other one is and this is the yakal yeah yakal on the left lived at those one my second year in college it's a co-ed and then there's a new building here the Jimenez gallery I haven't even entered this one and, okay it's for the art's sake turn to the left so pass by this is um, another quiet dorm Juan Vinuya was my roommate on the first year of college. This is the UP post office, still functional. Uh, people who go there only do registered mailing. Now this is the, the new shopping center being constructed. The old uh, shopping center with proliferation of photocopies is Eurox. So places now gone because it got burned years ago this is the new shopping center that's being constructed and the 
layers of uh, green commercial complex here. There are a lot of good restaurants and I think eateries inside. My children will be the one to know them that well because they're kind of in the outskirts of the campus. So this is the UP Chapel, the Hamburger, the Hamburger Church. Okay, the infirmary on the left. Can't capture that. My my phone is just on. There's a new one here, the Atenshore de Bonaujo, that's new. Okay. On the left actually is the Protestant church. Okay. And then there's a new development here. This used to be the UP swimming pool, the very big one, which has been defunct for many years, uh, even when we were in college, I think, or not, because my daughter took up swimming. Anyway, so this is Ilang Ilang. The Ilang Ilang Hall on the left. I lived there for four years together with Alma and Lynette, Torres, and okay. So the Asian Center, the International Center is now, you know, demolished and uh, barricaded with green fence. So probably they're doing something about it. Okay, so now. That's it. I'm going out to Katipunan Avenue.